Hello, in this video, I'll show you some ways to sync musical instruments. We start with DinSync. With DinSync you can synchronize various music sequencers and drum machines. A DinSync cable has two DIN plugs with five poles each. It is important that all five poles are really occupied. Plug one end of the cable into the DinSync out of the master device and the other into the DinSync in of the slave device. Via DinSync, the start stop, the reset start and the tempo are transmitted. If you want to sync several devices with DinSync, you can easily build a DinSync distributor yourself. Get as many 5 pin DIN sockets as you need, and solder the poles together as shown here. One device must be set as the master device and deliver the DIN sync out signal. The other devices receive the signal via the DIN sync input. If you want to traditionally sync a TB303 with a TR909 via DINSYNC, then this is possible with a trick. If the plug is not completely plugged into the DINSYNC socket of the TB303, the device sends an out signal, which can be received by the TR909. I have to set the TR909 to an external DINSYNC synchronization. The clock signal in the Roland devices delivers 24 pulses per quarter note. To synchronize these devices, for example with popular music sequencers, you need a converter that converts 24 beats per quarter clock from the DINSYNC output to a 1 16th trigger clock. If you have basic electrical knowledge, you can build a small DINSYNC to trigger clock converter very cheaply. I built mine after the circuit of Florian and Winder. You can find the link in the video description. With the DIN sync to trigger clock converter, the start stop, the reset start and the tempo are transmitted. Unfortunately, not all music sequencers have an input for the reset start signal. You can also sync multiple devices via trigger clock. Most of them loop the trigger clock signal through to a trigger out jack, so you can chain multiple devices together. We connect the DIN sync out of the TR808 to the trigger clock converter and go from there with the trigger clock signal to the first device. Then we grab the signal at the trigger clock out socket and go to the next device. To sync a MIDI device with a DIN sync out signal, you also need a converter. In my case, I chose Colin Fraser's do-it-yourself converter. You can find the link in the video description. This converter can convert MIDI to DIN sync as well as DIN sync to MIDI. For my purposes, it even works without an additional power supply. I go from the DIN sync out of the master device to the DIN sync connector of the converter. 
Then I go from the MIDI out of the converter to the slave's device MIDI in. Via DIN sync to MIDI, the start stop, the reset start and the tempo are transmitted. Of course, the whole procedure works the other way around too. I go from the MIDI out of the master device to the MIDI in connector of the converter. Then I go from the DIN sync out of the converter to the DIN sync in of the slave device. Via MIDI to DIN sync, the start stop, the reset start and the tempo are transmitted. <laughs> If you want to control DIN sync enabled devices via your DAW, you can also use this converter. Simply route the MIDI clock to a free MIDI port and from there go via the converter to the DIN sync of the device. The TR-808 is already running synchronously to the software sequencer. If you want to synchronize two devices via MIDI, connect the MIDI cable to the MIDI out of the master device and to the MIDI in of the slave device. Via MIDI to MIDI, the start stop, the reset start, and the tempo are transmitted. If you swap MIDI in and MIDI out on the respective devices, the master becomes the slave and the slave becomes the master. In my case, I have to set the TR909 to an external MIDI synchronization. Unfortunately, the TR909 does not recognize the reset start. You can also sync multiple devices via MIDI. Most of them loop the MIDI signal through to the MIDI out jack so you can chain multiple devices together. We connect a cable to the MIDI out of the TR909 and go to the MIDI in of the TBO3. From the MIDI out of the TBO3 we go to the MIDI in of the chord monologue. Start stop, reset start and the tempo are transmitted. Now we come to the trigger variant. The cod bell trigger output of the TR-808 controls the clock of the SH-101 sequencer. Now we hear the cod bell, which controls our SH-101 sequencer. Now I program the sounds of the bass line into the internal sequencer. In order not to hear the cod bell, the volume has to be turned down. CV gate transfers pitch information and keystroke information. 
You can thus synchronize complete tunes. I hope the video gave you some basic information about syncing musical instruments. Goodbye.